I will present Driving Times module that you can use with our TrustTrack fleet management platform. TrustTrack Driving Times module allows clients to check violations that are made by each driver, investigate what caused the violation, and prevent it from happening again. There are two ways businesses can benefit from this feature. Firstly, it helps to save time because you can easily check driving resting violations. It's automated and efficient with the Driving Times module. Another value is that it helps to save money because you can prevent the fines for violating driving resting times as per European Union regulation. It's very easy to start this module. You can simply go to the left-hand side icons, click on the Driving Times, and you are directed to the module. The module consists of two parts. One part is violations, and another is driver activity timeline. We are going to explain both of them. Violations part gives you the overview and the information about the violations made. Basically, you can see violation details, driver name and surname, the exact day and time, as well as the severity of the violation. Severities are defined according to the European Union regulations. User is able to see and filter the violation severity. Severity depends on the time duration of deviation, counting from acceptable resting driving time. The violation is indicated in different color, so we might have minor violation, serious violation, very serious, most serious, not applicable, and unknown violations. Unknown violations means the driver card was not inserted and no driving resting data is available. Also, here you can see the violation type. The violation type is indicated with actual paragraph number as classified by the European Union regulation. We have a brief explanation here. The factual information is here, and if you want to see more in-depth information, you can easily click on the paragraph number, and you have the whole description that are popping up to your screen. So that's how you can easily check up the details of the violation. Also, we have vehicle information. It's a plate number information that you can see. We have one vehicle in the demo account, for example so you can easily see information of this specific vehicle. And we have a country information. All of this information can be sorted. For example, if we want to know the exact dates, we can sort them out from the earliest to the latest and vice versa. Or we can simply filter them and know the exact time. For example, if I want to know how many violations a specific driver made at a specific time or on a specific day, I can filter them out. So, for the time period that I have chosen, no violations can be found. If I want to check another period of time, for example, December of 2019, I can easily do that and see the information. Also, violations can be filtered out, as I mentioned, by the vehicle, country, or by the different type of violations that were made. For example, this one. As you can see, there are no violations of this type. Choose other types. We see some of them filtered. All of this information is provided in the violations part. If we want to see more visual information, we need to go to the driver activity timeline. For example, we can either go directly in there and start looking up for the information or we can simply click on the actual violation and we are redirected to the driver activity timeline. Here we will see information of a specific driver by the specific time and specific violation. In the driver activity timeline, all of the information is provided in weekly status durations. For example, we have seven days in here from Monday till Sunday and we can see how all of the statuses are specified within different times. We have different statuses indicated here, for example, driving, working, available, resting time, and unknown. It is worth to mention that the unknown statuses can be easily changed into any other in order to get correct violations. For example, if you definitely know that the driver was resting at that time, you have a possibility to change the status of unknown to the correct status that you already are aware of. For example, we can also see that for this specific time that we choose, we can see more violations provided. If we choose the period of time from June up until September, 
you are able to see more correct information in here. All information can be downloaded as a PDF file. Here, we can simply click onto the PDF, choose the driver, and then we can also check the exact period of time. Or maybe longer one from October to December. and we click Download. The downloading is performed, and now we can go to the file and see all information with specific date, types of violation, and everything what is related to the specific driver and specific period of time. The driver can be presented with this document, can sign it, write the date, and you can get the mutual confirmation that document is actually correct and suitable for further use and analysis. Thank you for watching.